has also been complaining that he's not implementing the GPS. It's a frustrating experience. Uh, we signed an agreement in 2008, we formed a government in 2009, and over a period of three and a half years now, uh, it has been frustrating to see some of the ministers from ZANU-PF refusing to implement what has been agreed, even at the direction of the principals, even at the direction of cabinet. So that's a bit frustrating. But we are hoping that we need to nest this arrangement until really a final solution through an election is conducted. There's no need now to look back. We just have to ensure that we push uh, uh, until the real determining factor, which is the election. And coming to the media, Zimbabwe television, state television, you've also been saying that you're not being given enough time. No, it's not even about complaining about being given time. I don't mind about it because I can always go to the people. Um, but it is highly ironic for a prime minister of a country uh, not to be shown on the television for three and a half years. Three and a half years. And you say that that is a free environment. It's not. Uh, and you've got state newspapers, which are supposed to be controlled by government, uh, which are supposed to be under the control of the Ministry of Information, which are blatantly hostile to my party, to my person, uh, vilifying me. But I'm the prime minister of the country. I'm, I'm driving government work program. I'm driving government agenda. And yet, when it comes to the political divisions, they would rather target me for political ends. So what can be done? Can be done. Well, we, we, we really cannot go to an election under those circumstances. We really have to deal with the question of media reforms. Uh, otherwise, it will be a slope-sided slope -sided media environment. Um, so then you think, how will the reform be done? Because if there's a difficult... Well, we'll continue pushing the facilitator to say, we need to change the board of ZBC. We need to change the editorial policy of ZBC. We need to change the composition of state newspapers in terms of editorial policy. Uh, those who are doing it know exactly that this is a partisan political platform. They are acting as mouthpieces uh, of ZANU-PF uh, at the expense of an objective... Uh, media environment and that's a real crisis that we face with all this in mind yeah. it looks like the zimbabwean people had a lot of hope for change and especially for your party mm. and now they're seeing this they look lost that hope how can you think you can turn things over no i don't think that they've lost hope uh from the current assessments uh 50 percent over 50 percent believe that they need to go and vote in fact over 87 percent of the people still want to vote. And I can tell you they still think and still believe they have invested over the last 10 or 50, 15 years into a democratic process. Uh, and it is that democratic vote uh, that they, they believe they have been able to deal with the question of change. My party, my party uh, has had to deal with the question of uh, enjoining with ZANU-PF, have we been in equalized in the eyes of the people? Or it is the question of high expectations on my party, uh, in government, but also having the limitation of a coalition, uh, which is really conflict of vision, conflict of policy. Uh, and so the people's expectations were too high. And because they are too high, they expect a delivery from a coalition. And yet the coalition has got its own limited capacity to deliver. And the coalition was supposed to be a unified inclusion of all. So what do you call it? Well, well I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure that the first two years or two and a half years, the coalition worked. We worked to deal with hyperinflation conditions. But certainly now the, the stalemate is, are we going to have growth? Because people expect jobs. Uh, companies have closed. Industries are not expanding. Investment is being limited. Uh, so without jobs, people find that yes we have been relieved of a possible a crisis uh, of expectation but certainly it's not going all the way to deliver if it was a, a legitimate single government so i am sure that the delivery by the inclusive government had a limited success and now what we need uh, is a situation where we can expand beyond just stability but